All right. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in old Oxted. I'm actually just going over to see my friend Al, who's got a new laptop for me. Yes. Um, but while I'm over this way, I want to stop at a couple of churches around the area. The first one I'm at is St Mary's in Old Oxted, uh, which I've learned about for quite a while. A thousand years old, probably on the site of an earlier Anglo-Saxon church. It's a uh, Beautiful, I think it's a Norman Tower by the looks of it. But uh, let's have a little look around. What's interesting about this church, it's so far away from the old settlement in uh, Old Oxted. You know, a good half a mile from Old Oxted. Why was this church built so far away from the original village? Yeah, the tower is Norman, so this, this goes way back. This is interesting. Little tassels on the tree. Very pagan in a Christian churchyard. Very pagan. Yes, I know my backpack is open with a Sainsbury bag protruding out of it. Oops. A lovely 15th century porch. 15th century. I wonder if it's open, should we go and have a look? as I leave the church. Beautiful old door. Don't think that's as old as I think it is, actually. And through the 15th century porch. And outside again. There was a chap in there, just either praying or just waiting there, and didn't even didn't look up when I walked in, didn't acknowledge me, nothing. Very bizarre. Usually, you know, you walk into a room or something, people go, oh, who's that? You know, um, but he didn't even move, didn't look up, nothing. Amazing. Apparently, there are two Anglo Saxon tombs that have been dated to Anglo Saxon times in this churchyard on the south side. Where they are, no idea. It says on the south side. 
I've never heard of Anglo-Saxon tombs in a churchyard. I, um, please, guys, educate me here. Educate me. Okay. Memory of Dodi Fayed. It was the Princess Diana's um, partner killed in that uh, car crash in 1997. Got his dad, uh, former owner of Harrods, lives in Oxted. So it's a little memorial. Isn't that lovely. You won't be able to see this with a fixed lens. There's a ram in the churchyard. This is not an open field, we're in the middle of a village. There's a ram just over there. <laughs> Sitting by a, a gravestone. Hey, hello. What is a ram, or is it sheep? No, I think it is a ram, small ram, doing in a churchyard in a town. I'll try and zoom in on this shot. Oh, there's loads of them. Little, they're not sheep. No, they're. I think they're. They're rams. Oh god, I don't quite know the species. Am I being really stupid and thick? They're just run, wandering around. Isn't that cool? Keep the, keep the grass down, I imagine. <laughs> Fantastic. Here you go. Please, don't, please do not be alarmed by the sight of sheep. Yes, they are sheep and not goats. Goats, that's what I was thinking of, in our graveyard. Most of the graves have been here for many years and the churchyard team or volunteers have quite a task in keeping this area tidy. Visitors to, to have access to. The soy sheep, S-O-A-Y, have I pronounced that correctly? Soy sheep are a rare breed originating from St Kilda, an island in the Outer Hebrides. And being wild are well suited to an uneven ground. Oh, that's why, that is absolutely fascinating. Soy sheep. Anyway, they're having a, a fate here soon, so I'm going to make myself scarce. And uh, we'll join you for the uh, next location. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the second church of the day. We're at St. Peter's Church in Tandridge, right here. Norman in origin, probably an Anglo-Saxon settlement uh, beforehand. Beautiful old church just off the, off the main road. Let's have a little look around, let's go. Now then, St. Peter's lays claim to the second oldest yew tree in the country. Now, before I show it to you, there is a yew tree not far from here at Crowhurst in Surrey, not Crowhurst in Sussex, Crowhurst in Surrey, but also lays claim to one of the oldest yew trees in the country. Um, but here it is, and it is very, very impressive. Look at that. A little walk, walk round. We can get in. Can you get in? Yeah, there we go. I wonder how wide the girth is. Wow, I love the way they're when they're hollowed out. Fantastic. Of course, the yew could have been here well before the church. I haven't got a, an age on this one. I mean, the one that grows, as I said, could be up to 8,000, 4,000 years old. I don't think it's possible. Um, 
but if people know about Udri, do let me know. Very impressive. It's a nice uh, little grave in memory of Joseph Wolf. Oh, I think there's a bit more there. Who departed this life June the 13th, 1758, at the age of 24. A tombstone that. Okay, and with this gorgeous view behind me. We're just going to head down the road to the Barley Mo in Tandridge for a pub lunch. Hopefully my friend Nigel is going to turn up as well. Uh, so let's go. So thanks Guy for joining us for a little trip around a couple of churches and now we're having a pub lunch at the Barley Mo where I bumped into my old manager, um, which is great, and I'm joined by Nigel Sattler. Hello everyone again. Um, so uh, yes, who joined us on previous videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully in hot weather. Take care.